In this episode, we are leaving Francis Bay, St. Thomas for British Virgin Islands. This is the beginning of another new chapter in our journey, and we are about to explore BVI. Thanks for joining our adventure. Enjoy! The first destination in BVI is Jost van Dijk. You can imagine benching all this along. It was a short journey only about 70 minutes, but we took advantage of good winds. We're leaving St. John to the British Virgin Island. I feel like ever since we left San Juan, we have been literally hopping island to island. It doesn't take much time in between and I really started to enjoy it. Yes, it's much easier. Well, the longest part the scariest part was the open Atlantic, well, up to 500 miles late. Yeah. yeah, that's something I don't want to relive, at least for some time now. Let us enjoy this short fall. What's the distance to BVI? It's around the corner, practically 5 miles. We cleared out of US yesterday, so we have 48 hours to leave and arrive to the next destination. And uh, we've already submitted pre-arrival reporting to BVI Customs and it, has, it was accepted. The very yellow flag. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hoisting yellow flag again. And here we are at the custom office. Uh, practically, we try to figure it out how the mooring works turned out to use a mooring buoy, you need to reserve a spot by an app, which we were not set up for. So we stayed in this bay only for customs and immigration processing, and then we moved over to the next bay. Here we are at White Bay. Beautiful water, nice beach. White Bay is known as a fun place and many people come for a day trip. When we arrived, the bay was crowded, but we managed to find a good spot. And so we're on the shore, anchoring pretty well. Very fine sand, very hard bottom. I have to go a few times, shake the anchor, get it in. But once it's in, it holds like a mooring. And here at the White Beach, we bump into a soggy dollar, the legendary beach bar with their very original drink that everybody talks about. And it's a painkiller. And once you come here, try it. It is really different. It was entertaining just to see how the bartender made the signature drink. When we tasted it, ooh, it was even more enjoyable. It was so good. We ended up staying at White Bay for two nights waiting for the weather. Other than hanging out on the beach, there was not much else to do, but I can complain because the water was absolute jewel. Seeing turtles in turquoise water was such a treat. While we were on the beach, we collected some memories. And of course, where there is a hill, we climb up every chance we have for a nice sunset. Next day, we left Jos van Dijk to Cane Garden Bay in Tortora. On the way there, we detoured a little to enjoy sporty sailing. Sailing around BVI Islands, it's fun. I really enjoy it. The tall mountains, beautiful sceneries, the mountain accelerated winds and funneling it in all kinds of directions. And it's quite technical. And that's what I love. It was fun. So that's your French key. Kind of a narrow bay. And we're gonna continue. I just like this portion. It was quite technical. So this is just for fun of a sailing to get there. 
was a comfortable three hour sailing journey to Cane Garden, including a little detour to Frenchman's Key. We took a mooring ball, and this is where we settled for the day. Cane Garden to us was just a convenient stopping point on the way to Virgin Gorda, and we didn't spend much time there. There were some nice bars and restaurants on the beach, and there was a grocery shop in the town, so we had an opportunity to replenish our perishable supplies first time after we left Charlotte Amelie St. Thomas. We climbed up the pretty steep hill, but the view was just spectacular, so it was worth it as always. Overall, it was a good spot for a quick visit. We're going up on the hill, only in the sub drops, 4 o'clock afternoon. That's how we're training our hearts. Now, we're moving to Virgin Gorda. In the morning, we took easy sail towards Baths. And we took a road around Beef Island. It was nice scenery. The journey took us about four hours, and again, it was a nice, comfortable sailing. Between the bats and uh, Spanish Town, it's a chain of the mooring balls. We had the chance to get one of the nice ones, and we stay overnight. The bat is one of the major destinations within BVI for unique geographic formations. We could not miss this attraction before crossing to the next island. We're going to show you a snapshot of natural wonder. But what an interesting place. These huge bulldozers of granite that are spread all over. I have no idea what kind of eruption or what caused it, but it's very interesting. It's a very interesting place. It was truly incredible and was like going through a maze the entire time. It was fun. Returning from the bath, we went to the customs office in Spanish Town. So we have 48 hours to exit BVI. After custom clearance in Spanish Town and booking mooring, we move towards the east end of Virgin Gorda for overnight. This is to stage ourselves in a good position for crossing to St. Martin. We arrived just in time with the sunset. We still had enough time to comfortably finish the mooring job. Alright, so we are at Saba Rock. They've been freshly rebuilt after a huge hurricane. Actually, I don't know how many years is in operation, but I would guess about two years. That's just my guess. There's a bigger end gap. Here we are at Bitter and Yacht Club, one of the nicest clubs i ever seen in my life. It is well sheltered from usual weather, but unfortunately it was wiped by a hurricane. So we got back up December the 20th, 2021. And for Dark Sleep Reservation guys, you can email us at B-O-C-K at B-E-Y-C dot com. Also for Moran Ball, we have 72 Moran Ball. 25 of them are reservable balls that you can reserve up to 6 months in advance. Oh, fantastic. Today, we're leaving British Virgin Island all the way to St. Martin, where Merikiru is going to be holed out for the season. Look at this unusual looking fruit. It's called noni, 
and it's quite stinky like old cheese. But we learned that it's a superfood, and someone told us that it's good to make noni water. I didn't like the feel and smell of it, but the water wasn't actually too bad. Have you seen it before? Have you had it? Let us know in the comment section. That's right, we're leaving Virgin Islands. Stay tuned for the last major crossing for the season to St. Martin. See you soon!